Good morning, St. Thomas More. Um, obviously, we suffered a tremendous tragedy yesterday as a school community. I'm going to share with you what our plan is for today to make our way through these incredibly difficult times. I'll share with you, as many of you know, that yesterday, 15-year-old STM student, Yakub Saeed, many of you know him as Tyreek, was struck by a vehicle in Upper Paradise and later succumbed to his injuries. I will remember him, like many of you, as a wonderfully, wonderfully charming young man who was respectful always, was a friend to many, and is so much more than any of us can put into words today. For all of you students, who are dealing with this tremendous loss. I just want you to know what's available to you today here at St. Thomas More to support you. Our board sent what's called their crisis response team. And these people may be unfamiliar to you. They're not unfamiliar to me. They're a team of trained, caring professionals, and they're here to help us. And I'm asking you, to lean on these people who may be unfamiliar to you if you go to either of the two places where you'll easily find them today. And those two places are the chapel. Now in the chapel, we're gonna have a picture of Tyreek and a reflection book that you're welcome to write in. At some point, we'll decide what we're gonna do with that, probably at a later date, deliver it to the family and also the lecture hall. I would ask that students follow the timetable as we normally do it, because that just allows us to spread out the students who need care. And they're best handled with their classroom teachers. So 2,000 people in the hallway is not a really good way to handle such an event. So I'm asking you to please be in your classes but if you cannot be in your classes, then to make your way to one of those two places, the chapel or the lecture hall. And some of you may go to student success, I understand that. Um, I, I noticed that through social media, the wonderful world of social media, many of you have chosen to wear purple today. And, and ob you're obviously permitted to do that. Those of you who are not wearing purple, we know that you're here in spirit. It was not an uh, official thing. It was sort of a grassroots movement, but I want students to know if you're wearing purple, that's obviously permitted. I would ask that you not deal in speculation, blame, and even next steps. Today's the day we focus on caring, caring for yourselves and caring for each other. And many of you are probably asking, you know, what can I do in a situation like this? And you can do a lot. You can look around for anybody around you, anyone, anybody in our family who's suffering, maybe hiding it, maybe not, and help them get to one of those two areas or help yourself. And that includes our staff. <clears throat> These situations are terrible and potentially triggering to many of you. Just wanna remind you that we are and remain an STM family. And in times of need, Families take care of each other, so I'm asking that you take care of each other today, including yourself, and if anybody needs help, to bring them to one of those two places. And we'll finish this announcement with a prayer. Prior to the prayer, I just got this little reflection I pulled off last night and looking for what I was going to say this morning. It's not my words, but I think they fit. It says, one of the things that constantly re reassures me that God is real is the fact that people who pray for strength, hope, and courage so often find resources of strength, hope, and courage that they did not have before they prayed. And with that, let's pray for those things, strength, hope, and courage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, your power brings us to birth. Your providence guides our lives. And by your command, we return to dust. Lord, those who die still live in your presence. Their lives change 
but do not end. I pray and hope for my family, relatives, and friends, and for all the dead known to you alone. In company with Christ, who died and now lives, may they all rejoice in your kingdom where all our tears will be wiped away. Unite us together again in one St. Thomas More family to sing your praise forever and ever. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have as good a day as you can today here at St. Thomas More. Please make your way to your classes if you're not there at this point. Have a good day.